Delco Dan's Dirty Golf Picks. Oh, look at that. The music finally fits the competition this week. Welcome to Delco Dan's Dirty Golf Picks. Well, technically last week we are in Scotland. Hey, dude. This is a different country, okay? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So let's respect the cultures. Was Jesse's accent more Scottish or British? It was. Uh, it was more Irish, actually. Yeah. So, like, your culture is not my costume. I don't want to. I don't want to get into this right now. Okay? Gotcha. What I do want to get into is we're brought to you by mybookie.com. <laughs> Promo code Drinking Bros doubles your first deposit all the way up to a thousand dollars. As always, kids, we'll start with last week's bets. Rory roars. Pulled it off, dude. He uh, he won the Scottish Open. On the 18th. He did. It was fun to watch if he <laughs> caught it in real time. <laughs> he didn't even think he made the putt. That was the best part. He just like walked towards it like he didn't make the putt, and then the, the wind just kind of blew it in. So strange. Robbed Bobby McIntyre of his uh, nation's Open. That's crazy, isn't it? That's all he wanted to do was win the Scottish Open. He That's all. Uh, mm-hmm. And I felt bad for him because he'll never do it again now. No, probably not. No. And he's going to be a popular pick for the British Open, I'm sure. I'm sure, but, uh, but uh, I, no. I can't get down on people like that. Because uh, he's a Euro Tour guy? Yeah, where it's just, it's a different world, man. Mm. I mean, because now you're paired with with the very best of the very best uh, in the world. And in my opinion, I wanted to ask you the same. Uh, the, my two favorite tournaments of the year are the Masters and the British Open. British Open's up there. Yeah, that's two for me. It's got to be one. I, don't I got know. Masters at one. I might be a U.S. Open boy over uh, the Masters. Boo! Really? Yeah. All right. The Masters is kind of uh, this is an unpopular take. I like the course. Obviously, Gus is like beautiful. One and one. Yeah. Uh, but like the field and everything, not great. It's like maybe forty real golfers at the Masters because you have all the former champions. Yeah, you got it's a, a lot smaller of guys. field. It's about like ninety guys mm-hmm. or whatever. Freddie Couples always ends up on the yeah. leaderboard round one. It's not the best field, <laughs> but it's the best tournament. And if you've been there, it's hard to top. I'd like that it's at the same place too. Like the the what was the one at the L.A. Country Club? Was that the U.S. Open? U.S. Open. Yeah. yeah, I don't like. There's no need to switch for me. I, well, they do that with the British Open too. Well, that's okay every, because it's overseas. in the PGA. Every other tournament switches for the majors. I, for whatever reason, because it's played overseas over yeah. there, that it just feels magical. Like they all, all Mi- of those mystical. courses. Yes, dude. Yeah. They all feel magical, mystical, whatever you want to call it. And I'm sucked in. I feel like I need to wear a sweater on Sunday mornings to mm-hmm. watch the final rounds. Make your coffee. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Like it's there's something about it. I love. And then it. we're done by like noon, one o'clock. Yeah, and then the problem is, what do we do after that? I mean, we're fucked until football starts. Uh, luckily, preseason here is about in two weeks. I can I can still fuck with preseason. By well, the way, Saturday's gonna be awesome because we'll finish the British Open at like one or two. Yep, and it'll roll right into UFC London. Yeah, uh, that's right, because that'll be on at 2 o'clock, mm-hmm. so that'll be fun. Or it's uh, not London, it's Sunday, the too. Yeah, but. Sunday is going to be a rough one. Sunday is going to be a rough one, because yeah. this, once this is over, that's it. Summer League? Oh, God. I don't Fucking know. Little League Baseball? I can't get into that uh, I can't wait. Can, no, can't do it. You gotta, I've got to I've got kids who, plays ba- who plays baseball. I, no, I don't want to watch the bullshit. We have a I've whole. Kids. I'll show you a whole gambling guide we wrote at TFM about betting on the Little League World Series. I wish we could yeah. do that. We can. It'll be, my it'll, it'll be on there. All right. I'll, I've never looked. I'll look. Yeah. But I'll look. We're here. We we're are. Royal uh, Liverpool. Uh, Rory, at Lake, where Rory is, uh, is, Lake is, the golf is the dude, it feels like, man. Everybody is rooting for him, I feel like, in the entire world. One here last uh, last time they played in 2014. Mm-hmm. Ricky d- came in second. And everybody wants to see him win again, myself included. Yeah. Look, I, I wouldn't be pissed off about it. I'm not betting him this week. Me but either. it would be a great story. Because obviously I don't bet favorites. But we do have a very live Rory will win a major in 2023 ticket that I need him to win this week to cash. That's so, it. That's you know. it. I mean, it all comes down to It wasn't great you. odds either. It was like three to one. Was it really? Yeah. But he had four majors. He hasn't won in 10 years, though. Yeah, but he's every major he's like six to one, seven to one. Yeah, but he doesn't win. But so if I'm you, not taking you get him all either. four majors, at him in a three to one. I get it. I'm not. I'm still not taking him in this tournament. I think it's too much pressure. Mm, Everybody wants it, especially he's the British. Starting to get that little hop in his step. He won his. Uh, my dumb brain always just goes, "Oh, he just won last week. He can't win this week." Same here. But I can't do that either. He goes on little streaks. I can't do back to backs. Yeah. Um, he was on Dude Perfect and did uh, did set a bunch of world records on that. 
Maybe uh, that's kind of like ago. the catalyst. I, it might be. The dudes. Um, those guys are massive now, man. To get Rory two days before the British Open was pretty hilarious. So good for them. It's funny. My friend from Callaway now works with the dudes. Hashtag Chad. Uh, they shot that yeah. uh, episode in Frisco. So if you were there, <laughs> you could have gone and, and spent the day mm. with Rory. They're based out of Dallas. So Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, but it was a fun one. I enjoyed it. I, I love Rory McIlroy. Uh, he's great. He's great for the, the game of golf. And it, look, I wouldn't be pissed off if he wins because I think it's a great story. Yeah. Um, and you I also like I his comments be, on Liv, by the way. I would be pissed off if Scotty won. I Scheffler? I don't really dig Scotty's vibe. I don't know what it is with him this year. Um, I, do, I do enjoy that he's struggling to putt now because yeah. otherwise he'd win every tournament by like five. When I was going through the stats last night, I was up late trying to pick these fucking things. Uh, there was a crazy stat about Scheffler that it was like uh, 17 top 12 finishes this year where you're just like, Jesus Christ. I don't remember man. last time he finished past like uh, T5. I don't either, man. I don't either. I mean, they, they just struggle to find the top 12s. Yeah. So good for you guys. Um, we did lose that last week, but uh, Shane Lowry was close. I Look, if in my book, he would bring back the top 10s, top, you know, 20s and all that other shit we would be winning a lot more but instead we're just going after winners including today and again all these mm -hmm. odds are reading are from mybookie.com promo code drinking bros doubles your first deposit up to a thousand dollars who do you have to win the british open so we got three plays for the british open two heart plays and one chaos play okay got him so we're going, obviously, with my boy Victor Hovland. I fucking knew it, dude. 21 it. to 1. He's got to win one of I these. I can't. I can't. He's got to win one of these. I couldn't do it. It's going to happen. No. Nope. It's going to nope. happen. Um, and then we're going, uh, this is the chaos play here. <laughs> the live golfer. We already have one win this year in Brooks with PGA. Uh -huh. But a guy that's been sniffing around these tournaments, because Outside of these majors, you really have no idea how he's playing. Because, like, what the fuck does a live golf tournament mean? Yeah. Like, yeah. 54 holes. There's really no stats you can go off of. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think Data Golf has kind of adjusted for that. But, dude, Bryson DeChambeau, 54 to 1. Well, look, I, I respect the odds, and here's why. I think the last two majors, man, he's been... He's right been there on the Sunday. Top 15 yeah. every single time. So, I, it's not a crazy pick. No. And... uh they're saying this course is playing pretty long, so... He can drive the fuck out a, of the ball. If there's a guy that can uh, hit the fuck out of the ball, it's Bryson. And then another guy that can hit the fuck out of the ball, Cam Young. Pff, another no, one of my guys. No. Two of these three. I've, I've wasted I've so much on. money gambling on Cam Young. <laughs> so have I. I can't do it. 62 to 1, though. Come on. The odds are amazing. If you give me Cam Young 62 to 1, I have no choice but to take him. I get it, man. But do you, do I was you think also, his first win is going to be at the British Open, for Christ's sake? It could sakes? be. What if he's just like American Louis Oosthuizen? What was it? Was it last year he was in second? I think so. Yeah, he finished second last yeah. year. Yeah. To my guy. I won last year. It was Cam Smith. Cam Young. Or, or, no, no, Cam Smith. Cam yeah, Smith. Yeah. And then Cam Young. I also had second. Cam Smith. To be fair, we both won the British Open last year. You picked Cam Smith after I picked Cam Smith. I didn't pick him after you picked Cam Smith. I had Cam well, Smith. I, like, I, I slow rolled him first. Well, now I'm going to take him back again this year because uh, I'm picking Cam Smith this year again to repeat. I struggle with this, man. I was up late last night going through all of this shit. Like, he's looked great in majors this year. He just won live fucking two weeks ago or nine days ago, if you will, uh, if you want to get specific mm -hmm. on that. Um, he also, this is what drove it home for me last night. I was reading up on Cam Smith. And he made a comment to his buddies about drinking out of the cup. And his comment... Declare jug. Yes. And yeah. his comment was, give it one more week, and we'll all be drinking out of it again. I can fucking promise you that. I love the confidence. I believe Faraday asked him uh, when he plans on giving back the jug to the RNA. And he's like, I don't know, like five or six years from now. Yeah. <laughs> I love the confidence. And it Just made me do it. In a row. It made me fire on it. Cam Smith is at 18 to 1. He's not in like the top six favorites, which is odd to me. No, he's like fifteen to one, isn't he? Uh, eighteen to one is what I got him out here. Really, but, uh, that's juicy. Um, that's what I thought. That's yeah, what I everywhere thought. else I'm seeing him like twelve to one, fifteen to one. So he's like top five. Go to mybookie.com. That's where you're, that's where you're gonna get this odds. Uh, that's where I got it last night at eighteen to one. And then, uh, I, man, I went with this guy last week, and he was fucking great. Shane Lowry. Okay. Um, Shane Lowry again is at thirty to one here. High floor guy. Like, he'll be around, but yeah. he's – honestly, he's not really playing 
elite golf. He's not playing elite golf, he's just but playing he's, he's there. Okay enough golf, he's right? Top, he's top 10, top 15, and it's like one of these he's going to break through. Um, he shot a really fucking low round last week. It was like a minus eight to even get back in it over the weekend. And uh, if he does it here, he's got a shot, mm-hmm. and who knows? Um, because I went back to last year with Cam Smith. I think didn't Cam Smith shoot like fucking eight under to win on Sunday? On Sunday, I don't know if it was eight under, but he went low. Yeah, really low, like yeah. sixty-five. Maybe it was six under because this is a seventy-one. Is part seventy-one? Uh, this is. Yeah, this is. But uh, I mean, St. Andrews last year, so I don't. I don't know what he shot. Yeah, uh, but it, it was super low, and he came back and and won it. Uh, and this last guy. This will fall in line with Bryson DeChambeau. Uh, this is a guy you actually turned me on uh, to earlier in the year. And you said, watch out for Min Woo Lee. And that's it, 60 to 1. And I'm taking him. So I've been watching this guy over the course of the year. I finally s- caught him in an interview. He's a swaggy Australian. He is. And he doesn't look, uh, he looks like he's your fucking server at Benny Hanna's. And then he's got this crazy Australian voice. He was very funny, very affable. He's got a mullet. I really like the guy. And Mustache. so after that, I started watching him like as the weeks went on. He can fucking drive the goddamn mm-hmm. ball. And that's what this course is. So I went with one long hitter. I went with uh, Shane Lowry, who's obviously, you know, lives in these uh, neck of the woods. And then. Cam Smith, uh, it's hard to bet against him right now. He's played well in every major. I can't believe he didn't go with your boy. Who? Tommy. Tommy Fleetwood. Fleetwood. I told you I wouldn't bet him again. It's a home game. I'm not betting him again. Home game for Tommy. No, 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 no. (laughs) After he chunked that ball into the stands, I fucking threw the remote control. Canadian Open. I can't watch this. Yes. I was like, what? This guy will never win after I watch that. He'll never he win. He wins a on the Euro tournament. Tour all the time. He will not win on the PGA, though. Yeah. That guy, holy shit, what a choke job. He was playing somebody that was that wasn't very good. You Nick, you had it. Nick Taylor. Yeah, you got yeah. it that week. Um, and I couldn't believe it. I was like, You're Tommy Fleetwood. Like you're there. He's there every week. And then for to throw it all away against a no name guy, if you choke against Scheffler or Rory or just somebody has like that, who cares? One bad round, right? So he'll shoot himself out Saturday, but then Sunday he'll make this like fake charge. Well, he'll shoot six or seven under. Right. And he'll be like, oh, here comes Tommy. Yeah. Like, well, if he didn't shoot four over Saturday. And he could have won it in regulation. I, he beefed the whole thing. So no, I'm out on him. Uh, I told you I wasn't going to bet him. Uh, Victor Hovland, same thing. I'm out on him. I've lost so much money on Cam Young. I just can't do it. Although those odds are great, I understand why. Why can you're you doing believe it. you can get Justin Thomas right now at sixty-eight to one? He has not played well this. Not at all. Year. But it's Justin Thomas. It is, but he looks like a different fucking player. I don't know what happened to him. He's, you know I what think I think it hurt. is? I to he's me looking at the Netflix doc, it looked like Ozempic, where he's just lost too much weight. <laughs> I don't think it's Ozempic. I do too. I don't I do. think. I don't think he's on Ozempic. He looks thin, dude. He's been thin. He was not. Go look at him two years ago. Look he at had, a picture of Justin Thomas. He had from like two years a ago. Alabama fat face, but like a skinny body. Go look at him, dude. I'm telling you, he's on something right I think now. He's just working and it's out. never great. It's never. You can't do that either. Bryson yeah, DeChambeau. You got bones on the bag. He usually plays pretty well in the wind. I don't know if it's going to be very windy this week, though. Uh, they're saying Remember like DeChambo beefed gust. up, and now he's kind of back to like a normal yeah. body he's now, normal and he's person. playing great. Yeah. So I, I think the same way with Justin Thomas, whatever the fucking workout shit was, get off of it, get off the Ozempic, whatever it is. Just Regardless, game back. I think a big name's going to win this. So like, I do too. It's going to be a name. I do too. So everyone I have on my card, Hovland, DeChambo, Cam Young, they're names in the sport. They are. It's not going to be a rando. It's just not. It's probably going to be Rory. It's probably going to be Scotty. It's probably going to be Rom. But like Rom has not played well. Scotty hasn't played. Scotty can't. Putt. Rom hasn't played know. since the Travelers, but she missed the cut because he just didn't shoot low enough score. He didn't, it's not like he played bad. He just shot like three under. But it's very strange. So like I was looking up Rom shit last night. Nobody can really figure out what happened to him. Well, rested. Rest versus rust. I guess I, I don't know. Like, he won a major. He won the Masters, and it's and then that's the you know it's his last win of the year. That's a successful year, yeah, because he won like three or four times earlier in the I year. I know, yeah, and then just disappeared the rest of the year. It's been the strangest thing. Scotty, same way. Scotty won a couple times at the beginning of the year, hasn't won since, but mm-hmm. is always in the top five. Mm-hmm. Can't putt for some reason on Sundays. Uh, it's very very odd. Whereas what Cam, about Ricky? What do you think? Cam of Ricky Smith this week? to me looks like he just doesn't give a fuck, and he still has an axe to grind. I think Cam Smith hasn't played enough this year. 
Um, and that's, I, I think now he's getting warmed up and he's in it and I think he wins this thing. Ricky, I love Ricky. I love that he won. Um, I'm a big fan of, of Ricky Fowler, but uh, I think this tournament is too big. Mm -hmm. I think if he's in the mix on Sunday. This isn't the Rocket Mortgage. No. No. Uh, and that this is going to be too big for him. I, it would be great if he won, though. I would be amped if Ricky won. I would be amped if Rory won. Uh, I think those are my top two as far as, like, on the inside. And you know who I got to go with at three? Brooks. Yeah. yeah. If Kapka gets Kapka. a six. I mean, at this point, you just want to see Brooks win as many as possible. Totally. Me, spe me especially because I have that bet with my friends where I'm saying he's going to have more majors than Tiger. <laughs> so I like, tossed I and turned on on Brooks. What 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 turned you off of Brooks this week? Um, just value. Like I think both him and DeChambeau will be in the mix. DeChambeau's fifty four to one. Brooks is what seventeen to one. Eighteen to one. Eighteen to one. Yeah. Ah, uh, shit. Twenty to one here. Uh, so yeah, I mean, it's not terrible. It's no. like, has he won a British Open? No, he was close. Okay. He was close. Uh, I think the Lowry year, when Lowry won. Okay. Yeah. Um, I it, Like, that's that's my top three. If he won, I would be fine with that. At four, eh. What about Spieth? No. No? Well, I like Spieth. I just, he's disappeared the entire year. But yeah, he'd be fun too. Those are my four dudes that I really like as far as Americans go. Homa? Uh, where it's like, or besides Rory, obviously. But uh, no, uh, he doesn't have it. Max, not if Max won a major, that wouldn't. It'd be fun, but he doesn't have it. Yeah, it sucks. Uh, but uh, pretty Ricky would be great. All right, let me throw a bonus pick to you. Yeah, for a different tournament. Okay, because we got the Barracuda Championship going on in Lake Tahoe. I don't know what that is. It's a <laughs> Stableford format, so it's uh like for every birdie you get, every eagle you get pars you get it like a points it's a point system all right it's like a celebrity golf event. kind of like the american century that just yeah. happened yep. and uh but pro golfers that didn't make the open championship so it's like the uh the you know, c-list d-list golfers mm -hmm. we're going harry higgs to win that <laughs> at 110 to 1 <laughs> do they offer that in my book they do 110 to 1 harry higgs all right uh, I'll I'll take a flyer on it. Who cares? I got nothing else to live for this weekend. Who gives a shit? I'll do it. The big rig, Harry Harry Higgs. Dude, it's 109 degrees here. I'll be inside watching golf all weekend. My only gripe is that it's going to end earlier in the day. You know, I wish yeah. we had something well, to then curious we got, we to the, the afternoon. The Barracuda. There you go. <laughs> the Barracuda. Here we go. Harry Higgs. This was, uh, I believe, to one. Colin Morikawa's first win on the PGA Tour was here. So. Oh. Yeah. Well, then it that must be special. Yeah, I'm down for the Barracuda Championship. Shit, I'd be down to watch dodgeball on the Ocho right now. We got nothing. Got nothing. We got nothing left but the British Open. Uh, should be fun. Once again, tell everybody your picks. We're going Victor Hovland, Bryson DeChambeau, and Cam Young to win the British Open. And, of course, Harry Higgs to win the Barracuda. Gotcha. And I've got uh, Cam Smith to repeat Shane Lowry and Min Woo Lee. Uh, and I'm going to take uh, Min Woo Lee for the first-round leader. Let's okay. Go. Let's uh, see what happens. Uh, not an official pick, but let me give you a first round leader of my own. All right. Just, you know, maybe you want to sprinkle it. Sure. Padraig Harrington. Oh, that's a good one, actually. Old man's been yeah. playing really well. Yeah. And he's not going to hold up for four days, but maybe that first day the he first comes off fire. You know? Yeah. That's not a bad choice. And I think he's like 80 to one first round leader. Shit. So, yeah. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one for sure. I was close with Freddie Couples at the Masters. I told you, dude. I told you. Some There's of these, these guys. These old guys that yes. have won. And they've been there, and they can put up one to two good rounds. Freddie even made the fucking cut. He mm -hmm. was the oldest mm -hmm. ever to make the Masters cut. And uh, some of these guys can do it just because they know these courses so fucking well. Um, Remember that year Tom Watson almost won the British I Open? know. So fun, dude. I was rooting <laughs> for it. It would have been awesome. Um, I miss Tiger, by the way. Yeah. Tiger, it, feels, it feels weird without Tiger. Tiger probably should have just only played this. This year? Yeah. Or the uh, Masters in this. I don't know why he tried to do anything else. The Masters Did is he? his. Did no. he, try to play? he didn't try to play the PGA. He didn't try to play that. He didn't play uh -huh. the US Open. The Masters is his. It is. But so is the British, right? The Brit he knows how to play. You have to be like a smart golfer with the British Open. Yeah. And that's what he is. But I, I miss him in this tournament, and uh, I, I hope he eventually comes back. Who knows? Who knows? Um, before we get out of here, I wanted to ask you your serious thoughts on Steph Curry as a golfer. Whenever you see somebody hit a hole-in-one or eagle out to win the tournament and everything else, because we, we were watching it too. It was on a neighborhood mm -hmm. uh, event I was at. 
Um, and people are like, oh my God, he can do everything. Don't you just look at them and be like, they would get fucking smoked he, in the PGA Tour. Yeah. Yeah. Because I, stupid, right? He's like borderline a scratch golfer, right? Or he is a scratch golfer. But the difference between a scratch golfer and a pro golfer is immense. Huge. It's night and day. Huge. I think Tony Romo was a scratch golfer. Yeah. It's like going out kind of in like your intramural leagues and scoring 30. Right, right, right. Like, all right, go go do that in the NBA. Exactly. Go have fun in the NBA. I feel the same way. Uh, people were hitting me up about it. They're like, oh, isn't it amazing? I'm like, yeah, for a, a, an NBA player, sure. Yeah. But let's not pretend that he's going to be on the senior tour right. one day. It's like, like Denny McCarthy. They did that video with him being a basketball player because he played in high school and everything. Mm -hmm. And he smoked all the other golfers in a three-point contest. Right. It's like you roll him out for the NBA All-Star game. No, it's not. <laughs> It's true. It's absolutely true. Uh, big one this this weekend, kids. Enjoy it. I know I will. The British Open. Uh, no place like it. So that's my second favorite of the year. That and the Masters. Uh, bet with us or against us on mybookie.com. For Delco Dan, I'm Ross Patterson. These are Delco Dan's Dirty Golf Picks. We'll see you on the links. Go Hove.